A new PvP game mode has been added called Cardia Island Shore. This is a free-for-all survival game of up to 18 players. Similar to a battle royale game, the safe zone radius decreases. The game is won once one player remains. The map is huge. Some portions of the map are new, while some are either from existing PvP maps or have taken inspiration from them. First look of the map in game, it is gorgeous. At the edge of the map is a beach with palm trees and other flora. Some sections are forest with winding paths with a peaceful and serene vibe to it. Some areas are ruins with streams and rivers. All this adds to the depth and design of the map. I cannot stress enough how beautiful this map is. The fact that the developers used familiar maps and expanded them gives a feeling that there is a bigger world of Kurtzbell out there waiting to be explored. Not only does this give existing and PvP enthusiasts a reason to continue playing PvP, it also opens up the possibilities of expanding the story mode. Please, Dev Team, make this happen. Since the Asia server community is quite small, and possibly because of the challenge event, you'd get to play a lot with familiar faces. You can't help but to try your best not to attack your friends and instead target people you don't know until hopefully your gang can dish it out at the final sound of the horn. This can be a good thing or a bad thing, but either way, it is fun because no one's telling you how you can play it. This minor freedom that the game gives you is of a big impact once you tie in all of the delicious content of Garby Island Shore. Most of the time, you'd have players just waiting for an easy kill, which is kinda annoying, but this forces you to play smart. First few games, I would just lurk around as a ninja using Dual Souls Invisibility. Although it did not get me to the number one spot, it did increase the duration of my survival. To be honest, I was worried about the graphics lag due to having 18 players in a single map. I've tried 3v3 custom matches with friends and we did notice the decrease in performance of the game. But with Cardia Island Shore, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Partly because you mostly encounter 2 or 3 players at a time, and not all of them are casting skills and instead are waiting for that right opportunity. It might also be because the devs added in some performance optimizations for this particular game mode, but I'm not entirely sure. Although connectivity lag is still noticeable at times. It isn't really something I would call game breaking though. The challenge event is personally vomit inducing since it is literally a grind of 50 games of Cardia Island so you can get the dark meditate emote. It isn't really terrible especially for people who have a lot of time to take it easy but for people who want to do other things in game or in real life you definitely want to get it over with as soon as possible, since the event is only up to until the first week of September. Overall, I love Kurtzbell, and I love it even more because the devs are continuously adding content to the game. Cardia Island Shore is a work of art. The map design is gorgeous, the game mode is fun, and the added event challenge is a bonus.